for about four or five years now, the situation in Kosovo has been relatively peaceful because the Kosovan uh, Democratic League has been pacifist. But they seem now to have been elbowed out of the way by the Kosovo Liberation Army, and they are terrorist guerrilla fighters. Nobody knows quite how good they are yet, but they've turned the whole atmosphere from a non-violent protest atmosphere into one of violent struggle. And the prospects are for increased violence, more Serbian police repression over the next few months, possibly leading into a complete breakdown of order sometime by the middle of the summer. If the crisis in Kosovo spills over into Macedonia, which it well might, then Macedonia will probably collapse because there are so many different nationalities in Macedonia. And the rump of what is left of Yugoslavia will disintegrate. If it does that, it risks pulling in Bulgaria, Greece, Turkey, and Albania. Now, we haven't gone that far yet, but those are the dangers, and that's what the international community is worrying about. The nightmare scenario is that Yugoslavia collapses and we find ourselves in an old-fashioned Balkan war sometime before the end of this year. It's very difficult to see immediately what the contact group will do apart from express concern. But if I was a fly on the wall inside the contact group, I think everyone would be looking at the Russians to say, can you lean on Milosevic to make sure we get him on side for a peaceful solution? Now, I don't think that will be too difficult. The question is, can Milosevic deliver? He's losing power all the time. The, 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 the wind that he sowed in the late 1980s is now coming back at him as a whirlwind, which he really can't control. So even if the Russians can lean on him efficiently, as I suspect that they probably can, even then it isn't clear that he will have enough control over the situation to stop it spiraling into a very violent confrontation.